tiny tails the clever monkey and the foolish crocodile once there was a monkey who lived happily in a mango tree by the side of a river one day a hungry crocodile swam up to the tree i have traveled a long distance and i am very hungry do you have any food crocodile asked the monkey sure here are some mangoes monkey replied the crocodile enjoyed the mangoes and asked if he could visit again you are always welcome monkey said to him they became friends and the crocodile visited the monkey daily the monkey gave him mangoes for his wife too however the crocodile's wife grew jealous and thought if the monkey eats these sweet mangoes his flesh must be sweet too he would make a delicious dinner she pretended to be ill and told the crocodile the doctor says i can only get well if i eat a monkey's heart the crocodile was upset but agreed to bring his friend's heart he invited the monkey to visit his home i would love to meet your wife monkey said the monkey climbed on the crocodile's back and they set off in the middle of the river the crocodile began to sink why are you sinking monkey asked i must kill you my wife needs your heart to get well crocodile replied the monkey quickly thought of a plan monkey said oh i left my heart in the tree let's go back to get it the crocodile believed him and swam back to the tree the monkey quickly climbed up to safety you foolish crocodile you were ready to kill me because of your wife unjust demand and you were stupid enough to believe me go back and tell her that her husband is the biggest fool in the world the moral of the story is a wise enemy is better than a foolish friend the end the fox and the grapes once in a dense forest there lived a clever fox one day while wandering around in search of food the fox came across a beautiful wine yard lush ripe grapes hung from the vines and the fox's mouth watered at the sight wow those grapes look delicious i must have them said the fox to himself the fox jumped and stretched as high as he could but the grapes were too high for him to reach determined to taste the sweet grapes he backed up jumped again but he couldn't reach them hmm the fox thought maybe if i try a different angle he tried several more times leaping as high as he could but each time he missed the grapes by just a little bit exhausted and frustrated the fox finally gave up as he walked away he said those grapes are probably sour anyway i wouldn't want them even if i could reach them and with that the fox went into the forest leaving the grapes hanging on the vine the moral of the story is it is easy to say you don't want something when you can't have it the end